Well, hello. This is Timonius from Total Nerdy Channel. And today we will show you a little tutorial of how to make a vector thruster. If you have seen that, perhaps, uh, we have updated the rules for um, what to say? Jerry's mod, Jerry's mod wooden wars, Jimonism's uh, wooden wars, my wooden wars uh, revive thing. And uh, well, we updated the rules, and now you can have mouse aim. Um, so I will show you how to make a mouse aim a vector thruster, my mouse aim turret, which is the version we'll mainly be using. So, anyways. Um, Without further delay, I will show you a mouse aim thing, what we can do. Um, I'm working on, no that's wrong, uh, I'm working on a, where is it now, Fear Cant Model 4, uh, and uh, basically, and just freeze it. If you get in here, you can aim around here. And it will basically shoot where you aim. Where it's supposed to. We of course don't have full accuracy. Whoops, it's uh, slightly wobbly, but uh, interesting. We also have the, uh, as you see, the new rules. Uh, we need to have a little bit of an accuracy for the turret. But this is the type of mouse aim turret we will make. Um, it's pretty nice. So let's, without further ado, I can show you the in progress tank. It's not got done, of course. The seat is like uh, not nice. But it's a really funny tank because this hover tank is uh, equal to all sides and it's actually moved by <laughs> using the turret. Uh, so the turret produces a small amount of thrust actually especially if we turn it back because uh, you see the angles they work at make it have a little uh, margin that actually gets us forced away anyhow it's pretty useless but uh, I just wanted you to see that Check the new rules, uh, I'll make a video of the new rules as well, but uh, anyways. So, it's pretty easy to make a mouse aim turret. I think we'll make a little, uh, what to say, turret that we can install anywhere. Uh, so, we will be creating this turret on a base plate thing, and we will make it like a what to say, module turret, uh, a turret you can put on uh, any build basically. Okay, so uh, the base plate for this turret will be a one of these. This will be the rotator. And then we're going to use a one of these. As the aiming part thing. And that we have some kind of ish accuracy or something. This will be our vector thruster uh, turret, I mean, yes. Um, and uh, let's have a little structural thing as well. Uh, we'll use some no collide on that one. And we just put it here to represent an axis because it looks better. Oh yeah. like that. Just adjust this a little bit and there we go. Now we'll need some gates here. Um, so we'll go to uh, gates on wire mod and we'll have an add gate 
and this will be the uh, what is it? Build add gate. So it's only going to be here to uh, kind of parent things to. Can put it there. And and then we need a actual working gate for the other uh, part, lower part. So what we want to do is we want to scroll down until you see the vector, the vector tab. Click on the vector tab, scroll, scroll down to the bottom and click on subscription. Uh, subtraction, subtraction, yes. You can place this on the third base. So, uh, it's a lot easier to make a vector thruster than in the days when I learned to make a vector thruster. So I got some help from an old friend uh, to make... Uh, to, to know how, how to make the simpler versions. That's nice. You need much less gates, which is nice. And now you actually only need two, th three things more. Uh, we need a share any share here and we need uh, of course this vector thrusters work for like non wooden constructions as well it's just because I build this uh, for wooden wars so you know that's why I use wood okay and we uh, spawn the pod controller and we right click it uh, on the pod controller and then on the share to link it up then we need a vector thruster and uh, vector thruster, let's see here. It's if you you can search for it, or I saved it as favorites. Uh, and what you want to set this is for multiplier, you need to put it on full value, which is 10,000. And then force minimum zero, force maximum zero point. I think this will be a very light turret, so zero point eight maybe. Uh, 0.20 I used on the turret uh, I just showed you. We'll try with 0.8 now and see if it works better. Um, but this is a value you might need to change. But don't keep this over 1. That's a guideline. Anyways, here we have XYZ world. So set it to XYZ world. And just spawn it on the ground. You need to double click because it's weird shit. And uh, don't blow it away. That. And now you want to put it, what is it, far away from everything. So we just place it down so it's a bit below the firing line, like that, and we aligned properly. Let's see here like that and I just use shift E to make it uh, aligned you know with itself uh, if you don't know this you spawn a prop and you use shift E and you can move it to straight angles really useful build tip 90% of you will probably say stop giving us old information but anyways I want this a little bit higher up in the air so it's not that below the firing line I mean, if it's too much below the firing line, it will affect uh, accuracy negatively. That's probably good. Now take your welding tool and weld this thing. Now, we need to spawn a GPS. The last thing we need is a GPS. We're now the... G oh, it's on wire, of course. GPS, here we have it. I saved it on favorites. You can use the search function if you don't build very often. Whoops, that's the wrong word. Yeah, GPS. And place the little GPS on your stuff. Now, let's let the wire feast begin. So, multiply, you'll need to put on Mouse 2. Mouse 2 will be our aiming button. Vector will be wired to this subtraction vector gate. A will be wired to the GPS on vector. B will be wired to aim position on the pod controller. 
And this, my ladies and gentlemen, is how to set up a wire uh, mouse aim turret. But hold on, we'll be doing some additions to make it work better. And of course, we didn't set it. <laughs> now, uh, axis center. Uh, axis center, you need that. Uh, if you don't have axis center, get axis center. It will simplify your life. Uh, links in the descriptions to my workshop collection where you can find everything including wire mod and everything I use and you should also use my thing. So left click on the side of this one and left click on this one. Now left click on the flat on this one and uh, now we'll left click on this one. Now we can copy the whole thing and we get in here. And now you can see that we have a mouse in turret. Now a useful tips for you, you might want a nice zoom. Or maybe you don't want a nice zoom, but you should want a nice zoom. And how do you get a nice zoom? Well, go into options, go to keyboard here, just scroll down until you find the, uh, where is it now? Come on. Uh, there is something called suit zoom. Oh, there it is. And then you can set your button to T, as in Tor, uh, and you can, you know, have a nice aiming stuff. Uh, now, uh, the little funny thing here, you can see that I have some friction on this turret, which can be good. Well, maybe less your movements, less spassy. I noticed that this friction is a bit too much. You can check the weights. If the thing is heavier, you need more friction. This is only 80 for this, so it's not so heavy. By the way, uh, this thing will want to parent to this gate. Uh, because it will be armor part. You need to parent all armor parts in Jim uh, uh, Wooden Wars um, to gates, otherwise they will be not, uh, you know, they can't be hit. That's why in the new rules you can have decorative parts like this one and you can parent them but you can't parent them to gate. You need to parent them to another prop because if you do like this they will not absorb shots. You see? Or wait. Um, they will not absorb shots, but first we need to move them from the original position. Otherwise, <laughs> they will indeed also absorb shots. You see, I could shoot right through it. Um, but uh, if it's on the original position, they have their hitbox left, basically, if it's just not responding. So, um, anyways, I just wanted to show you that. Wait, what? Okay, good. So, where were I? Yeah, um, the friction is far too high. Set it to maybe, maybe, I think, like seven or something. Just reload on this sound, this two. And then we'll just remake the accesses like that. Uh, we'll go to vector thruster as well. You know, the farther away the vector thruster is from the build, the more accurate it will be. But uh, if it's too far away, you will have issues with it uh, colliding with uh, skyscrapers and the ground and stuff when you're trying to aim. So that's why you need to keep it like moderately far away. Um, so anyhow, vector thruster. Let's set this to 0 0.3 or something. See if it works better. Now we have lower friction as well. I like this. And it looks like it's more wobbly. Actually, it's too weak. You need to have find a balance um, if, for example, it's very strong. Let's set it to uh, let's set it to like 1.17 just to make a point.
it will really spass. But it will spass faster, so you see you need to find a golden rule. And it's really helpful if it uh, has really low... Uh, if you remove gravity you can do. Um, actually we'll do it for this, uh, this part. I believe it can help. Or actually I'm not sure, I'm just <laughs> hoping it will be better. Uh, so that's an experiment for this one. Uh, but let's set this back to... we had it on zero point. Let's see if... Um, see if indeed 0 0.2 is good for this construction as well. Um, so like this and you see it spaces too much, yeah? Just to control, well whoops, we just turn it back to where it where we had it earlier. 0.8 in case I in case I'm wrong about the zero gravity thing. Yeah I'm wrong about the zero gravity thing. I think. So if we would I'm so <laughs> excuse this testing phase. Um or actually it seems I'm right about the zero gravity thing. Okay, never mind. Um, so remove gravity from, from this thing. Now, vector thruster, set it to 0 0.5, and we'll see if this works better. Hang on a second more. <laughs> I'll we'll just be testing this if we can get it stable or if it's oh if you aim it on itself it will really flip out so don't do that. Um, it's kind of like before. It's more accurate on small movements. If you make large movement, it will gain momentum and will will kind of spaz out. So actually, one thing you can do is. Uh, Lowering the weight of the of the construction uh, contraption, what helps uh, in ACF. However, you can't really do this too much because if you do that, um, it will not work very good. So, um, anyways, it's some tweaking going on. I may tweak this uh, further on, but let's move on. Just make the uh, what to say the nice little thing that will keep it stable when you're not moving and that's called a weld latch now um, this is made to be installed somewhere else so if you have a vehicle this plate is the base plate that is the plate you have your wheels on if this would be say a tank anyways um, you take the moving uh, YZ moving thing click on that left click left click on the base and then we spawn a weld latch. Go to gates, find not gate, it's an Artemic, and it's not, 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 not. No, it's never, it's on, okay. I'll just search not, we have not invert, it's on logic, okay, good. Not invert on logic. And spawn a cute little not gate. Then you go and click active on the not gate and the not gate you wire that to mouth 2. Mouth 2. Mouse 2. Yes. And now you see when we don't click it stays in place which will remove much of the spacing movements when you move somewhere click. You can just snap there. You can just move there very fast and then just begin from there and you can move and you know if it passes too much you just freeze it again freeze it a time which is useful indeed so now um, 
for you that want to leave this tutorial and don't watch everything of the tweaking to make it perfect, because if you have different weights you might do the tweaking itself, uh, I might as well record it when I'm on it. Um, so I'll just uh, show for you how to make the turret itself. So here we have the line of fire, uh, and if you use another weapon that's up to you, but uh, you know, just place a turret in the middle there. Uh, and then you watch, uh, you wire fire to mouse one or any button of choice. Um, and by the way, while we're on it, um, go and uh, sh download this little aiming ship that is available on uh, my uh, paste bin. So go to my paste bin, you find links on the channel main page, uh, and you can download aiming hologram by Mythic Ghost and this looks cooler actually, usually you anyways download that one and it's an aiming hologram, it looks cooler on servers but uh, in single player it looks kind of sad um, if you don't have some weird stuff installed but never mind and now you will have a working th uh, whoops okay it flips upside down you can constrain this by ball socket settings or simple ropes uh, now it will hit on this red blob so as you can see i'm moving here and now i can hit and it's pretty far away you know so you can see it's pretty accurate you can even increase accuracy on the turret if you don't have any constraints on, you know, wooden walls have some constraint of maximum accuracy. But anyways, it's pretty cool. So, um, if you don't want to watch the tweaking, I understand that. And I will say thank you very much for watching this little tutorial and uh, subscribe and keep tuned for future videos. Um, please like the video so other people may find it, that will need it as well, and uh, well, see you in future videos. Now, we'll continue with de-tweaking. So, let's tweak this thing. Um, uh, we'll begin with looking at the weights here. So, let's see if 10 weight, weight of 10 would be kind of okay. This is parented, so um, whatever. Put things weight of 10, this is kind of heavy, put it on wine, one, the turret, I mean. And then we'll see if making it lighter, it actually makes it much worse. That's very interesting. Makes it very much more twitchy. So the power of, is of course much heavier now. So if we try and go to uh, the vector thruster again, and we set the force maximum to 0 0.2, like that. Whoops. It's moving to. It's kind of wobbly. Yeah. Now, this is actually pretty nice, isn't it? Not. If we freeze it, okay, it's kind of like before. So, we'll try another thing. We will try to go to wire uh, vector thruster, put it back on 0 0.10. 0 .10. We'll have the weight, uh, weight, weight, weight of, uh, where is the weight to learn? Let's try 50. This one and this one. And then we will go to well tool. Um, <laughs> let's just freeze this in case it's not frozen. Uh, let's huh. right click on the well just to remove it will line up here okay that seems pretty accurate move it a bit farther away 
Now this may be in the furthest out direction, which may be suitable actually, but uh, well, we'll see if it works. Oh, we didn't unfreeze it. Or did we? Wait. I'm not sure, but I may have welded this thing wrong. Let's see here. This should be welded to this one, yeah? <laughs> That's interesting. What did I do now? Okay, I probably did some stupid. No? Oh! Yeah, okay. Uh, so, I didn't get a vector thruster in the dupe. That explains stuff. So, area copy and make sure you get the vector thruster with. Uh, and then... Wait, is it? No, we didn't get it. Okay, in this case here. Uh, so scroll down and area... Now let's see, the area copy size, make it bigger. Uh, now we'll definitely get it. Oh god, that's a spacer turret. So the power is uh, too great. But oh, it's pretty accurate though. So if we move it around like this, uh, however, we can clearly see that 0 0.5 was much better. So let's change it to half of the force, like that. Also, uh, when it's further out, it will have more power, of course. So actually, we might need to scale this down to 0 0.3, because, uh, you know, it's regular angular um, mathematics. Oops. Why is it to me even more? Wait, what did I? What did I set it now? On? Oh shit! <laughs> I three doubled it. Of course, we want it to zero point zero three. Oh yeah, but this is anyways a pretty easy way to make a mouse in turret. And how is it now? This is pretty good. I think this is what we will settle for this time. And uh, maybe some tweaking, but this can take forever. So good luck with your tweaking. I'm, I hope you enjoyed this little video and I will be seeing you in future videos. This is Jim Alism, Total Nerdy Channel, signing out.